a great way to start putting scratches and beat up your model is to create to use one of these scratch masks with this preview options panel you can move the mask around change its scale and even change its shape the E panel, I'm going to pick this brush type, I'm going to pick a light gray color, create a new layer, we'll call it scratches, and now we have all three of these selected so it's going to paint depth, color, and specular at the same time. I'll hold control so that the depth goes in instead of out. Let's scale this down a little bit. Putting some of these scratches in. Now if I hide this, you can see the scratches in there with full depth and color and specularity. Of course, you can mix and match between different masks. With all the scratches in place, let's add some dirt. So I'm going to pick a dark color. I have a brush. Take some of these brushes that are very grungy. And up here, where it says pressure not descent dependent on color, we can pick more in cavity. And I'm going to move the cavity scale way up to five. Make a new layer. Call it dirt. And now when I paint, it will wait a minute. Let's turn off the depth first and the spec. Now when I paint, it will only go in where the depth is. It'll be more obvious if I turn down the cavity scale and you can really see it's only painting in cracks. Black dirt looks good for that. Let's put that another layer with some white dirt. Like a real light gray. Put that in there too. 
and they add some little variation to it. If you want to add some more variation, you could turn this back off and just paint it anywhere. Paint it real lightly, though. I've turned on some jitter in the options here, as well as some rotation. That helps to m mix it up a little bit. 